What is reality? Is it touch? Taste? Smell? Hearing, perhaps? Most importantly of all, is it sight? Gilles Deleuze argues points towards difference and repetition. No same action is repeated, just different actions. At any given point of time, the possibilities of a new difference is endless. If this is true, is there a limit to possibility? Older analogue interpretations of reality are indexical, tangible to the extent they did once hold the physical existence portrayed as it was through the medium. Digital technology, on the other hand, portrays images that are not real. It can be realistic and sometimes even unaltered, but it is only a representation of reality, or, if manipulated, the imagination of human ingenuity. Take this image, for example. It is a digital representation of Will as he appears in real life. Although clear differences can be made between his digital representation and the real thing, more advanced visual effects can lead to more accurate interpretations. But with the realistic detail present in digital technology, is there anything to be afraid of? Video games are the most engrossing immersive of the digital mediums that stream through our lives. They are engaging, encouraging active participation opposed to the spectatorship found in cinema. Bearing the level of detail and graphical accuracy, these games employ realistic representations of reality, whilst at the same time bending the rules to present enjoyable simulations. Although these games are often censored dependent on content, be it graphic violence, explicit language, scenes of a sexual nature, drugs, discrimination or general horror, can we protect our own moralities whilst playing these games? Can we passively control the action, or does our participation make us complicit? Weltschmerz is a German word which represents world pain or world weariness. This emotionally results in forms of depression that arise from comparing the world as it is to a hypothetical idealised world. In relation to digital technology, the hyper-realist style of portraying fictional realities are no more than the delusions of grandeur. When faced with such spectacular wonder, the real world to some becomes somewhat uninteresting and dull. Digital technology is only going to become more accurate and immersive. But is this advancement a threat to our own moral realistic existence?